So how much does a homemade bike frame cost? Until now, I've never actually added it all up, and I have to admit, I was pleasantly surprised. In this video, I'm going to price out the cost of materials for a basic steel mountain bike frame. I should say at the very beginning, there are three really big expenses I'm leaving out of my calculations. One is the time and money it takes to learn the skills needed to build a frame. Another is the time it takes to actually build the frame. I've never kept track of the hours it takes from start to finish, but I know it's a lot. Lastly is the cost of all the tools and equipment. These are all major costs, but they'll vary from person to person depending on the situation. In this video, I'm only looking at the cost of the tubes and the brazons that get assembled into a steel mountain bike frame. I recently posted a video where I recommend the tools and supplies a hobby frame builder would need to get started building their first frame. If you haven't already, go check it out. I priced out everything in that video to about $2,500. This is assuming I didn't own any of the tools yet and I bought everything new. $2,500 isn't cheap, but compared to the price of bikes these days, it's not an unreasonable amount of money, especially when you consider the number of cyclists out there that own multiple bikes. For someone who has the time, likes buying tools as much as they like buying bike parts, and enjoys learning new things, I think these investments are totally worth it. After all, being a hobby frame builder is just that, a hobby, and most hobbies require time and money. The point I'm trying to make here is if you have the time, tools, and skills, the cost of building yourself a new custom frame is pretty reasonable. The actual cost of the frame will vary depending on the design and the materials. The calculations in this video are based on a relatively simple steel hardtail mountain bike frame, similar to my current frame project. I'll be using three suppliers, Paragon Machine Works, Bicycle Fabrication Supply, and Metal Guru. In the past, I've also ordered from Frame Builder Supply and Aircraft Spruce, depending on the project. For a basic hardtail mountain bike frame, I would get the bottom bracket shell, head tube, and dropouts from Paragon Machine Works. I like to have two bottom bracket shells on hand. After I've raised the first shell to the seat tube, I like to have a second shell to put into the jig to hold the down tube in place while I raise the down tube to the head tube. Paragon low mount dropouts are my preferred option. The disc mount is part of the dropout, which saves me the time and effort of trying to braze a dismount onto the frame. I priced out a 170 millimeter head tube, which is on the longer side for most hardtail mountain bikes. I'm pricing the main triangle and stays from Bicycle Fabrication Supply. I've recently started using butted seat tubes. For my first few frames, I used a straight gauge tube and then brazed a sleeve at the top of the seat tube. These butted tubes are lighter, they're less work, and they give a cleaner look. I'm 6.5 feet tall and over 200 pounds, and this is a mountain bike, so both the down tube and top tubes are on the hefty side. I'm assuming that standard pre-bent chain stays and seat stays are being used for this project. Most of my frames have used a yoke for the seat stays and chain stays. This adds about $35 to the total cost of the frame. I've started using a yoke that I designed and then had laser cut, and that ran about $105 for four yokes. I get straight gauge 4130 tubes for the seat stay yoke from Aircraft Spruce for pretty cheap, but shipping is expensive. Lastly are all the brazons the water bottle bosses, cable stops and guides, and the dropper port for the seat tube. Metal Guru sells a really nice dropper port, so I priced all the other little bits there too. Frame Builder Supply, Bicycle Fabrication Supply, and Paragon Machine Works all sell various kinds of small frame parts. Here are all the frame parts priced out individually without tax or shipping.
And here are all the totals from each supplier, including tax and shipping. These might vary depending on where you live, but I'm guessing the totals would be in this ballpark for most people in the lower 48 of the US. Adding this all up gives us a grand total of $440. Not only is that about a quarter of the price of most custom steel frames, it's also half the price of most production steel frames. While this is just a basic hardtail, it's still a fully custom frame built to your specs. Even after spending a couple hundred bucks to have a local bike shop face and chase the frame and a powder coat or finish it, it's still a very good deal. I've had pretty good luck DIY painting my frames with spray paint, which can save a little bit of time and money, but you do need to be okay with it getting scratched easily. I also cold blued my previous mountain bike frame, which turned out pretty cool, but even with oiling it, the frame rusts pretty easily if it gets wet. While you can't completely ignore the cost of learning the skills, buying the tools, and the time to build it, once those are taken care of, you can make yourself a new frame for a very reasonable price. Plus, the satisfaction of building a frame exactly the way you want it, with your own hands, is definitely worth something. And if your new frame is replacing the frame on a bike you already own, which is what I've often done, you already have a bunch of the parts. One last comment. Just because the raw materials are relatively inexpensive, that doesn't mean you should go trying to lowball a local frame builder for your next frame. Sure, you're only paying four to six hundred dollars for the metal parts, but when you buy a custom frame from a professional, you're mostly paying for the hours and hours of their time and the skill, expertise, and experience they bring to the process of building a one-of-a-kind bicycle frame just for you. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button so that you'll see the next video when it comes out. If you know someone that might like this video, please share it. Thanks for watching, take care, see you next time.